thing, boys. Today, John, as always, you're back. I am indeed. Uh, like a bad smell, I just can't get rid of him, but <laughs> joke, I jest, I jest. What we're going to talk about today quickly in this short video is just what is the 2023 Crisis Pack. And what it is, is essentially every Crisis game in... Every Crisis card in the game yep. has been reimagined. So, scrolls, uh, alien ship, anything that was a single extract sort of isn't anymore. So you'll find, I think a good example, scrolls. It used to be three objectives and you'd randomly find the scroll eventually and then hold on to it. Now, there are full four scrolls on the board. Each one of them is worth one VP a turn. Uh, you don't need to roll to find them, but there's a chance you get moved when you pick them up. So it's very interesting. Everything's been turned on its head. Uh, we've entered... A completely new yeah. age. I mean, this is kind of what we thought LNG were going to do. It we didn't say just yeah. they were going to drop a card back in 2023 and just go, good. don't worry, cards are coming. Instead, yeah. they went, we've changed everything. Here's free here, print yeah. and play, <laughs> so, have the card layer. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It would have been ideal for them to give us the card pack mm -hmm. upon announcement, as it means in the meantime, we're sort of left in limbo. We've all got our old cards. Anyone buying the new core box will have old cards. So it's a little bit difficult. So what this means is that in the meantime, up until then, the battle reports moving forward will be using the new crisis. They will. Rather than using the way you're supposed to determine crisis cards, as we don't currently have any of our own printed or the official ones, we're just going to choose two each week to combine together and try out. Uh, the first video, we're going to try the one mission that is completely bad, brand new, which is Paranoia P, P something. Yeah, Paranoia. Paranoia. So we're going to try that one out in the first battle report, which we'll be recording shortly. I just wanted to take a moment to quickly explain what the 2023 crisis pack is. So the way it's going to affect our battle report is we've done 26 up until now. I'm going to move them into their own playlist, which will be titled 2022 uh, Crisis. 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 Yeah. yeah 2022. Right. 2022 missions. We're going to put that in its own playlist. Then with the battle report we're about to record, which will be battle report 27 and moving forward, they're all going to go into their own playlist. Showing that those are the ones with the new crisis, just so there's no confusion. Makes sense. And that if you really are no longer interested in the previous ones, or you're just interested in the new ones, you can take your choice and pick whichever you want to. So, that's it for today's video. Just wanted to quickly let you all know about that, and hopefully we'll see you in our next battle report, where I think I'm running Web Warriors. John, what are you planning to I am going to run Spider Files. So it's going to be Webheads versus Spider Files as we try out some new crisis cards. It's going to be really interesting. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and that is what the crisis pack is. So guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and leave any thoughts you have down in the comments below. I want to give a huge shout out to the channel's patrons as they're the people that make all of this possible. If you want to support the channel and become a patron then you can find a link down below in the description.